can't give a lie If I can make it If I try to draw the red light I could run through the fire I could can't give a lie If I can make it If I try to draw the red light How's it going, everyone? It's a uh, it's a gonna be an interesting day. It always is when we end up going back to uh, to older stuff. Dark fire, what are you doing, silly goober? I don't know why my dogs always seem to go crazy when the stream starts too. I think they just get really excited about it and they start barking a lot. I don't know what the deal is. <laughs> How's everyone doing though? I'm excited to uh, hear how everyone's day is and. Uh, then we're going to uh, start fishing so um, yeah got that to look forward to turn this down though top-notch well as you can see right here I'm getting everything ready we got uh, we got some spinning rods we got some um, some feeder rods um, this is going to come in handy for walleye and then um, and then I'm gonna grab a rod to uh, use in the heron as well in case you want to try to go after some of those like flathead and gar and stuff like that and have some of that as well. So, Fish King Outdoors, Zero Drag Yacht, Dakota Salmon, Dusty Fishes, Bryson Lafone, uh, Damien is goaded. David Probus is here. How's it going, man? Lucas White, Dark Fire, of course. Um, and then just a lot of other posts. <laughs> <clears throat> well, right on. Top notch. Oh, there we go. Jesters. I had to scroll down. Kevin Howell, Lucas White, again, uh, blah, 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 landed 100. Got a unique smallmouth and a heron. It was 6.8 pounds. Your PB smallmouth, dude. Well done. Um, yeah, so I've got uh, some setups we're gonna try here. Um, we got just some different lures. I was trying to aim for stuff that uh, you would have unlocked at your level. You know, um, I was trying to look. So like, if you go into crankbaits, like you can only unlock them at level 14. So I was like trying to look for. See, we could. See, even then, they're bait coins. So the. Fast, the quickest one you unlock is at level 14. There's just a lot of stuff. I didn't do a lot of different, uh, 
a lot of different see that one's 28 jeez louise definitely not that so uh so anyway that's what we got that's what we're gonna try we can actually get these these are actually here we'll we'll try all of these bass jigs see if we can get anything good with those um but yeah that's what this is all gonna be about trying some uh trying some stuff at level eight and level ten and uh seeing if we can catch some some good stuff i'm gonna throw a sinker 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 and uh we need some need some some line i try to get all this stuff ready but i start thinking about it too much and then i don't i don't get it ready in time <laughs> let's see four pound i think is gonna be is that the best we can do right now might be we'll put the rest in our backpack there and then we need a hook so I'm gonna go with the uh, the one knot hooks. Didn't grab any though, so we'll throw some of those in here. <clears throat> one knots. Throw some number ones in here as well. Um, probably should get some larger ones too, just in case we want to go after some. Um, throw some. Oh, that was a number four. We'll throw a number two in here. Ot number two ot. We'll just we'll go from there. So I'm gonna put number one ots on right now. And we need a bunch of small minnows for the uh, the walleye. Catch a bunch of walleye. Big money, big money with the small minnows and the walleye. So, if anything, this shows you what I'm using. Though we'll we'll, we'll take this opportunity. Obviously, I plan this out because I'm I'm just I'm really good at all this. But here we go. We'll go through the gear right now. So, talking about Emerald Lake. I'm using a, a value spin eight foot six, um, three to seven and a half pounds there, and then an Inspire Cast three thousand, which is six point four pounds. Um, I have a six pound mono right on here, and I'm using a narrow spoon quarter ounce number one at the moment. Um, next one's for a heron, but we'll uh, look at this. This is kind of the setup I recommend for your uh, your first feeder rod that you buy in the game. Um, using it at a well, I guess I, I recommend one for mud water too, but this is kind of what you could use for a walleye emerald lake um, It's got a, a, a Creek pro 8 foot 10 here 10 2 to 7 pounds um, Casting weight 3 eighths doesn't matter um, And then we got the crucian hunter 3500. This is a, a carp uh, kind of whitefish kind of uh, fishing reel, but it goes to 7 pounds Then we have a 6 pound mono on here little seven eighth ounce uh sinker and then four pound mono leader with a one ot hook and small minnows um, i need to do one last one last uh sort of uh what's a good one all around i guess we'll throw one in here <clears throat> this is going to be for naharan when we get there we want something a little bit long a little bit larger I don't really know. We'll throw a feeder forcer on there. That seems pretty pretty good there. And where's some good line for this thing? Here's some. Throw some braid on there. Oh, it's too strong for the rod, it says. Oh well. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with it. We're gonna test it. See if it's too much. I don't think I have any. I don't think I have a sinker that's small enough. Sinkers. Go with that. Throw a sinker in there. Now we just need. I'm not sure what size of hook to use. We'll start with number two odd, I guess. I'm gonna throw some medium cut bait on there. For now. Might, might break our rod though who knows guess we'll find out if, if it does break the rod then you all know not to do this <laughs> and we need a mono of course we have a 7.9 pound fluorocarbon leader so let's do that okay and uh you should probably equip bells onto these but i'm not going to because i have my uh my alarm system and all that sort of stuff but if you are going fishing by yourself i'd recommend putting these small bells on um here just so that you have them but there we go this is our setup we're going to use today um we're going to start at emerald lake though so if anyone wants to join in feel free to 
I'm not sure which day I want to start fishing at, but I guess we'll uh, we'll just start with what we're dealt with, rainy, and uh, and and decent weather throughout the entire day. So let's let's head there. Now to get back to the chat. <laughs> catch a unique. We'll certainly try to. Goodness gracious. I don't think we can catch a walleye, a unique walleye here, but uh friends only room is open. Anyone can join in if you want to, if you're playing on PC. Catching Gar and the Heron is a lot of fun. I agree, James. Hola, Squish, Flint, Squish, Flint, Squish, Squish, blah, 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 blah. See, I'm, I'm so excited. I can't, can't say it. Squish Flint is in the house. Canadian Drain. How's it going, Squish? Oh my goodness, the Metalhead Motorboat Pack. We'd be crazy not to get this, but we're not. Okay, so here we go. Boy, it looks so dreary here. Darkfire, man, what are you doing? I read your stuff, but if you just keep spamming, you're gonna get banned. You're gonna get banned, man, and then you won't be able to say anything ever. Just talk. Talk like a normal human being. <laughs> Silly goober. Samantha Morseman, hello. Knox Bryant, hi back. Have to go soon. You're going night fishing for catfish. Dang, man, that's awesome. Well done. Uh, Nick Lockhart, hello. Catching musket at St. Croix on a boat is one of the fun favorites because they drag you around. Ooh, that would be fun, James Pittman. That's true. Peyton, Peyton, man, cooler cactus. Poor roach. Poor roach. Stop looking at my money again. Now I'm level 37. You have 6K and a heron. Well, you're making your way up aren't there, aren't you? Went fishing in Missouri and Kansas and caught bluegill. Colt phase. Well done, man. All right. All right. It's a good... Uh, like it's it's pretty it's pretty just kind of meh throughout the entire day isn't it how much two minutes and 46 seconds i'll take that it hasn't stopped raining but that's okay all right so what we're gonna do we're gonna throw out our feeder rods and uh i have put out a marker buoy where it, it's the closest i caught a walleye is what i made the marker buoy um i remember when i first came here people told me to basically cast out as far as i could towards that uh towards that tallest tree out in front of us, right straight in front of us right now. And uh, and if you throw it as far as you can, then you have to fight it all the way back. So uh, I basically threw it closer and closer to me until uh, until I, 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 I wasn't able to catch a walleye anymore or it took forever. So uh, that's how I that's how I figured that out anyway. So we'll do, I'm just gonna take this distance and I'm just gonna throw it out towards the tree, but uh, same distance basically. Your heart is ready. He now gets women. He gets more than women, man. He's an alien. He gets everything. You know, he's like that. Try to get my goldfish today and he looked like he wanted to eat your finger. He must have been hungry. Goodness gracious. Elijah Howard, how's it going? Spam, ham, eggs, and spam. Yo mama's cooking. Howdy Bo, Cole Starkey, how's it going? T-Rex is gaming, hi. How are you? You want to be you want, you want to be doomed to be a fish killer but you don't want okay sorry isn't it i read every little line of text it's just like reading a book he, he died no he didn't die okay we're good do you have any tips for beginners to get money quickly samantha morseman you are so lucky because i'm actually doing right now one of the earliest things you can do to get a lot of money. Uh, I'm actually using appropriate level equipment for Emerald Lake, so that if you were to go to Emerald Lake right now, you could use all this gear, um, as far as I'm aware, and uh, and catch some stuff. And if, if it's not uh, exactly, you know, uh, the perfect, perfect level or whatever, then you can get something very similar. But yeah, other than my super cool rod I have, or uh, rod stand I have right now. Probably can't get the boy. We got hit by something there. You'll probably do be doing a twitch, but oh, there we go. I was gonna say you could probably be doing a twitch uh, right now, but I was doing a stop and go. It can increase the drag there. Nick Awesome Gaming, thanks for the sub, man. I was I like throwing off to the right of the dock by the bank, caught a tunnel wall. Oh, really? Another one in a row here. Nick Lockhart with a sub. Thanks, Nick. There we go. First walleye of the night. A little uh, 277 bucks. But uh, yeah, 
That ain't gonna be that ain't too bad right there to use a little a uh, little bit of twang in the voice I guess <laughs> and he says for lure fishing for musky pike in Michigan which lures you know I had some pretty good luck with a jerk bait try a jerk bait as my joke goes try throwing my brother and then uh, you know at, at, in as some bait there um, but uh, but no Use, use a jerkbait, uh, look up a video on how to, you know, that's one thing I really want to do. Sorry, I'm going to stuff my face with a last bite of uh, apple crumble here. But um, I want to do a full retrieve method guide so that everyone can, uh, you know, if you're, if you're having trouble doing a retrieve of, of one type, uh, hopefully the guide will help you. But, um, but yeah, look up how to, how to do a jerk retrieve because I can't think of it off the top of my head at the moment. But, uh... I think it's a lot like a twitch, isn't it? <clears throat> Maybe it's just a stop and go. Anyway, give it a try. I know I did it right in one of my videos. I just have to go back and watch it. <laughs> to remember what it was. Shower, good luck fishing. Cooler cactus. Hey, thanks, man. I appreciate it. I'm gonna do a, a two I'm gonna let it go down. I'm gonna do a two speed this time and I'm gonna do a twitch just to see if it changes it up. The issue I was thinking might have been with the twitch is that the lure might come to the top too quickly. But, and it did, so. By the way, BZ, no walleye bite bottom lines. That's false. And as soon as they bite one, I'll prove that wrong. <laughs> you evidently have never seen uh, my my video is fishing for walleye if you believe that you're, you're just throwing around false false uh, facts I guess You throw a two aught glow-in-the-dark crankbait to catch walleye. Ooh, very cool <laughs> Skate three king lover vids. Hey, thanks, man. Appreciate it And what a rainy day All right gave the twitch a little go here David says to cast out towards the shore. Maybe we'll try that. Someone's big boat's in the way, though. What the heck? People are just so inconsiderate these days. It's like, hey, I'm trying to fish, man. But uh, you poke your... But you just put your, your big old boat over here. Even though this is a small little pond, you have this big boat. Like, what's the deal, you know? What's their deal? Got hit by something there. With a two inch glow worm. Ooh. <laughs> Rohan, hello, how are you? John Gaskins, hello. And this is uh, so close to me that. Like, trying to get my tip further down towards the water's edge now uh, other people will also say to fish for walleye at night and uh, and that might be true I've caught them during the day though so you're just you're just wasting time if you just want to do nighttime though you could say the opposite DBZA Margus thank you for the sub Get home so we can watch the new Loki. I haven't seen it yet. I haven't. I need to. I was going to bring it up to my wife, actually. We need to watch it. Fred Neal with the sub. Thanks, Fred. Um, yeah, definitely need to do that. That's on the, uh, that's on the old schedule. There we go. That's a walleye. Typing things over and over again wasn't funny. Isn't funny. <laughs> it's very true. Unfortunately, what it does is it moves up everyone's text that I haven't read already and puts them beyond the point where I can read them. And I'm playing a game, so I can't just go over to the chat and scroll up to read everything. So it just kind of makes it less fun for everyone because they don't get their uh, they don't get their comments to be read. You know. The new episode is awesome. 
Well, what the heck? There are a 3.358 pound walleye. Right on, right on. 433 bucks. As a level 10, like the $400 fish is not bad at all. How do you catch Sauger here? Okay, the one time I've caught a Sauger here, it was at nighttime and it was like way over there. I was casting out much like I'm doing right now at nighttime and I caught a Sauger and uh, that's how I completed that mission. Um, I want to say I actually did it in the beginner series episode, but I could be wrong. <laughs> Kill the walleyes with leeches, by the way. It might be worth putting them on your bottom rods. See, I'm not sure. What level do you unlock leeches? See, that's the thing is I'm trying to use only things that you would unlock at level 8. Because, uh... This is Emerald Lake. You unlock it at level 8. So, this spinning rod and spinning reel I'm using right now are level 8 or below. Um, so... Leeches might be unlocked before that. I honestly can't remember. The first time I used we leeches were for giant Wells catfish, so they don't seem they don't seem like a level eight thing. They're the late there later on. Yeah. And to let it sink some more, I think. Too close, too close to us. G3. Hi, how are you? What's the best fish for Lone Star Lake? I have no money in level 14. Best fish for Lone Star Lake is spotted bass. No trouble, Darkfire. How do you catch the bike slasher at Emerald Lake? James Pittman. You are so lucky. I actually put a video out about that. You should watch it. I'm not just talking to myself. Make me scared. I'm gonna let them all down right now. Right now. Pray I never lose myself. Pray and flashing city lights. I keep my pretty voice smart. Ooh, I got hit by something there. I caught my mom a house. So when I look inside her eyes, all that real was worthwhile. Pray my team break ground. So this album popping out. Swear it, drop them. Be right there. Push me. Come on, man. I'm about to switch to a two speed just because it. Did we get a fish on? Well, we did right at the end. What the heck? This dude was taking his time. Three pound walleye, 400 bucks on the dot. 400 bucks on the dot, bro. How do you get so much money when you catch fish? I only get 350 for a 4.7 pound walleye. Well, Knox Bryant, everyone always asks me, hey, what pack should I buy? What pack should I buy? And I always say, don't buy a pack, buy premium. Because you get more XP, you get more money, you can you know, travel through time faster. Um, there's so much stuff that comes with buying premium. One of them is you get more money. Hey, thank you so much for the sub. Appreciate it. <clears throat> so, so yeah, that's how I'm making a lot of money. Don't buy packs, buy premium. Good old days podcast, did I say that? It, it happened so fast and it went away. Good old days. Good old days podcast. Thank you. Use small minnows. Why rope? That's what we're using, man. Good idea. Morning, have you try spinners? We'll get you fit good fish there. 50 feet out, nighttime. Two trees straight in front of you. If you if I remember, Big Toe Dan, you're nailing it, man. You are nailing it. You are on it, bro. Did you create a new account? No. Are you going to do a multiplayer? We are doing a multiplayer. It's a friends room right now. Join on in if you're on PC. Leland and Kendall, how have I been? I've been doing quite well. Thanks for asking. What's the difference between bottom rods and feeder rods? Which ones would be good? I can see surgeon. You know, here's the thing. When you go to the bottom rods, they actually show the same stuff. It's the same like logo. You can still use feeders. I don't think I've tried to, but in my mind, I think bottom rods are just a step up of feeder rods. And uh, if you want to go into carp fishing, then you can use the carp rods just to change it up. I guess just a rod that's more specialized for carp. Otherwise, um, the feeder rods are basically your first first try at uh, 
at using a bottom rod sinker you know stuff like that like you'd use in real life there's a fish there's a fish here just just for excitement the first uh, the first trophy walleye we catch will uh we'll do a boogie button just for fun because we can't get anything bigger than that anyway so might as well <clears throat> good old walleye 300 bucks making our way downtown what is the discord server dbca marcus the discord server link is down below but someone yeah david pro has just posted it there what lewi would you use to catch fish at lone star lake i just started your levels four uh casting spoons casting spoons are great they're they're what you use in the very beginning and they catch bass you know might as well might as well just keep on using it i actually put out a, a lone star guide that might be a good way to start as well so you can watch that by the rock wall facing the northwest Ooh, over there I chatting in another typing no one replying big toe Dan well what the heck do grand boat theft grand theft boat I caught a six pound bass this morning well dude right on that's awesome 2 a.m. UK time. Do you know how to catch both in a mudwater river? Uh, yeah. I do. I recently put out a uh, mudwater river guide. Go check it out. I think I actually show you how to catch one in that. Lori Bundren, how's it going? No English. Hey, no problem, Ikel Nunez. No problemo. I don't know if that's actually Spanish. <laughs> of course, I don't know what language you're speaking either, so probably not helpful. <laughs> Got a 78 pound tarpon, dude, right on. Little B plays. Oh man, I thought we had him. What a pain. What a pain. Oh, he nibbled on it again there. Coming right back for it. Might, might have scared him away there. Look at me twitching it. Come and get it. No. All right, I'm going to shove this last piece of apple crumble in my mouth. Don't judge me. Mm. This way it's over and done with. I don't have to stare at my last bite forever. Understandable, Chris Sutton. Well, hey, here in uh, 27 minutes, that's exactly where we'll be. But at uh, at level eight, you don't have Naharan unlocked, so uh, so we're not fishing there. We're using level eight equipment at level eight Emerald Lake. That's how we do. James Pittman caught a unique chain pickerel while fishing here. Right on. There we go. God. He pulled us out for a little bit there. Nom nom nom. Hey Squish, thanks for posting that. What is the stream today about? The stream today is about catching walleye at Emerald Lake at level eight. And then um and then at 8 30 p.m. Central here in 26 minutes, we're switching to catching bass at Naharan, which is uh something I recommend, even though some people say, nah, just keep fishing for walleye, then move to uh then move to Everglades from there. I always say, no, don't do that. Fish at Naharan, get used to catching bass, plus it's a ton of fun because there's a ton of bass. Of course I could say that and then when we get there we don't catch a single one but we will see <laughs> that's the goal anyway we're gonna catch a bunch of bass got your first ever bull shark taming this goaded fantastic man I'm gonna try a, a twitch return this time give that another chance 
Yakel Nunes. Hey, thank you so much. Last time I did the Twitch, it was um, um, three speed, and we couldn't keep it down low. But two speed seems to be doing quite well. BZ ASMR is that is that what I did there? Hopefully it wasn't a bad ASMR. My wife told me that I was breathing hard yesterday. I was like, what? Calm down. I'm not breathing hard. But maybe I am. <laughs> Those other rods don't seem to be doing much. They're not. Yeah, they don't. They don't seem to be doing much at the moment. Might not be the time of day. Might not be in the right location. I sure thought they would be in the right location. <clears throat> no, man. What the heck was that about? Yeah, we, we gave the twitch another try here. Let's go back to the stop and go give that give that a go Jacob ready wish you could fish with me so bad. Well, dang man Got your first uni golden trout about an hour ago your first uni other than the monster fish dude fantastic. That's awesome Um, I'm trying to remember who in our uh, discord today caught uh, a pretty awesome fish as well so it's, it's like a golden one as well. It's pretty cool. Man, get up, bro. Had a nibble, but then the lure just sank all of a sudden. Get up! Go! It must be deeper over there or Watch all of your beginner series, and your first saga was in the trial. The trial. Ooh, okay. Now I've got a little puppy barking. Need you snap, crackle, pop your spine. I I am good at that. I mean, yeah, Ugh, sort of thing. Crack, 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 crack. Meet two two four. What's up, man? How's it going? Well, you've got some bottom rods out there, don't you, Grinder? I tell you, because we have a uh, 13, 23, we have 23 minutes left. Let's, uh, boy, this is slow. Um, let's see here. We fished during uh, the daytime. Let's switch to nighttime real quick. This dog, he's got his nose underneath the door and he's just going <laughs> super loud. <laughs> uh, Jeremy Vaz, first time watching. Hey, right on, Jeremy. Glad you're here. Let's uh, let's switch to nighttime. Maybe we'll have better luck. Maybe. See. Okie dokie. Let's throw this out here. Not in the game. Yeah, exactly. Right on, man. Please don't tell me you restarted on your main account. I actually don't know how to restart, so no. <laughs> I think I've looked it up before, too, and I every time I look it up, I can't find how to do it. So, yeah, I don't know. Got so many bass. Oh, yeah, really? 80 pounds, then I got 80 pound, 40 pound snook at the glades. Hey, right on, Jacob. That's awesome. Did you enjoy your nightmare? I mean, movie last night? <laughs> yes. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't bad. I thought they took a different approach. You know, with these, with these films, it always seems to be the same thing over and over again. You know, like, oh, there's an object, someone finds it, you know, they become possessed and then they do bad things and then, you know, and then they get, you know, the demon out of them. And that's, that's the movie. And it's been that way for, you know, multiple movies. Hey, look at that. But, uh, they actually changed it up in the last one. <gasps> no, no, no. No, no, no. You don't do that to me. You saw me click this. I lowered the drag. Bunch of baloney, if you ask me. What can you do? What can you do? 
Let's throw this back on. Yeah, look at that. My drag was set to zero, by the, and it still broke. That's why I think about that. What the demon movie is this thing? It's a, it's the new Conjuring movie. We'll watch the new Conjuring movie. But yeah, they, they did something different in this movie. I don't want to ruin it, so I'm not going to mention it. But it, it's not the same like, oh, there's an item. There's oh possession. And then they, you know, they changed it up this time around, which I thought was a bit more creative. It was kind of a Sherlock Holmes meets Moriarty situation, if you ask me. So I thought that made it a little bit more interesting. That breathing under the door thing is the exact thing Winston does also. It is a, uh, it's a mixture of cute and annoying, yes. <laughs> like a broken turkey. Oh, well that hasn't happened, thankfully. Warden with the sub. Marcus says this is the content we want to see. Walleye XP farm. That's what I'm trying anyway. At least it stopped raining. Craze Aiden with the sub. Thank you. Oh, there it goes. Don't you break this time. Don't you? I'm ready. Look at that. There we go. Wow. Look at the change in drag. Almost like the entire half of the meter almost. That's crazy. At least, you know, by the time we get back to our spinning rod, the lure will already be down to the bottom so we don't have to wait for it to go down and start reeling in. <laughs> <laughs> is the one benefit <laughs> make a second account no I don't have time to do a second account <laughs> I, I I thought to myself well if I reach max level of fishing planet maybe I'll buy the fisherman and, and redo it you know redo a game in the fisherman but then I was like nah <laughs> I'll just go on to Russian fishing or something at that point I think <laughs> 300 bucks there You're live, you live in Kansas too. Wow, well, little B plays right on, man. That's awesome. I would ask whereabouts in Kansas, but I don't want to make you nervous or something like that. So you share if you if you want to. You don't have to though. Basically torturing yourself in the call of the wild. Wait, looking for a great one or what? How are you torturing yourself? Are my friends favorite? I'll have to watch it this weekend. Most <laughs> she's gonna force you to go watch it. I watched a I, I watched a documentary on the two, the Lorraine, the Warrens, and everything. I thought it, they seem like pretty interesting people. So ever since then, I've like I've looked upon the film in a different light. I was like, oh, they seem like they seem like an interesting, an interesting couple. They definitely loved each other. That's for sure. That was like a that was a theme that continued to arise throughout the documentary. It's like how much they loved each other. I was like, oh, well, that's nice. I dig it. <laughs> Angela Wilder with the subscribe. It's pretty good. You know, Bo is a good man when he goes back 35 levels to fish a low fishery. What's going on, PC? Triple seven. Oh man, Lil B plays with a sub. Hey, uh, you know what? I, I get asked the same questions all the time. Like, how do you catch walleye? Or how do you uh, make a lot of money at lower levels? And it's like, DJ Verco, DJ Verco? Right on, man. Um, it's like, I, I don't know. I, I make a video about it every now and then just because it continues to pop up and I'm like, I don't know how to help you. <laughs> Dark fire with the sub, thanks man. Ooh, that would be cool, David. Yeah, I'd really like that experience. Nicholas Rafe. Yeah, that would be really interesting, David. I, I had never thought about that, but that's, yeah, that would be interesting. My dog is so extroverted, he can't go five seconds without the attention being on him. And now we're talking. Why do you seem bigger? He seems bigger. He takes up more of the screen, doesn't he? But he's not bigger. What's the deal there? 
He's only 200 pounds. Or $200. You think he's so small that they actually had to change the view of the camera to be closer? I don't know. Hey, finally made greetings for Costa Rica. Not Doug, man. Well, hello there. How's the weather in Costa Rica? Wasn't that, it was around there that uh, Jurassic Park happened, right? Around coast, I mean, in the movie, not, it was, it's an, it's, a lot of it's in Hawaii in real life, isn't it? But yeah, I thought it was in Costa Rica. Might be Loki, oh no. Well, I understand. I understand if you want to go. Use a glow-in-the-dark 2 crank crankbait and catch a lot of walleye and pickerel. You know, James Pittman, I honestly just don't think I have it on me. Otherwise, I would uh, give it a try. Is Call of the Wild good? I love Call of the Wild. I think it's a fun game. I think it's a, a modern take on the Hunter Classic in a way. A lot of people rag on it not being very realistic, but you can turn off everything and make it more realistic if you want. Turn off all the tracks, turn off your compass, turn off your wind, and, um, and more realistic than the Hunter in that case, unless you turn the track indicators off in the Hunter Classic as well. Just enjoy the fact that you can literally do anything in the entire game for a bit. <laughs> Very true. How do you catch a mad-eye buffalo? Uh, Marcus, you know, I have a video about it. I speak in an annoying alien voice the entire time, but I still recommend watching it because I'll show you how to catch it. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head. And the same goes for uh, Jeremy, who asked how to catch a smallmouth buffalo. In that video with the mad-eye buffalo, I catch multiple smallmouth buffalo while trying to catch it. Uh, I would honestly just go look for that Mad-Eye Buffalo video and watch it and see what I was using because I can't remember. First stream and you just subbed. You love uh, my content. Well, T. Faust, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Brody Peterson, hi. Hello. Interesting. <laughs> Is this Fishing Planet? It is Fishing Planet, fam or Joe. I've never really loved scary movies. Look at this. I'm like Michael Jordan fishing, not even just in my peripheral. Shooting hoops without even looking at the basket. Catching fish without even looking. Never really enjoyed it, but you've been forced into it because your parents love it. See, that's what's so funny. I always like feel, I, there's sometimes I see things squish and I'm like, oh. I don't know why. I don't, because for some reason, every time um, I think of you, I think of Halloween, but it's that you don't like Halloween. But anytime I see anything like funny that's Halloween related, I'm like, oh, I've got to share this with Squish. And then I'm like, oh, that's right. She doesn't like Halloween. Never mind. I won't share it with her. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> it's funny. You've watched ghost shows, horror movies, murder documentaries, and true crime your whole life. Ooh. Um, my, um, uh, a guy I worked with in college actually grew up in the, uh, the Sally house in Atchison, Kansas, the, uh, the, the haunted capital of, of Kansas or, you know, the, whatever it is, the capital of haunting in Kansas. I don't know what it is, but it's supposed to be a super haunted town. He grew up in like the haunted house. Anyway, he used to, he used to tell me all the crazy things that happened there, but who knows? like that miracles might have it it would scare me so bad and get out of the chair and run. <laughs> I have no doubt out of my mind and everyone would just everyone I think everyone would end up dying David they would all stop and they would you know be clapping and, and hallelujahing and everything and that's when they that's when they get caught just like that you would be the uh, you know the the, the <laughs> their demise basically how do you cast that far i'm on pc and i'm level four. Oh, you know when it comes to spinning rods it's all about uh the length the length of your rod and how much your uh, lure weighs so uh i'm not really sure what what rod length you're using at level four but at level eight this is an eight foot six inch rod i believe yep eight foot six inch value spin at level eight and so you can in get the inspire cast 3000 as well and uh this narrow spoon i don't think you can actually buy at level eight so i'm kind of cheating in that way um but let's see 
when do you unlock narrow spoons you can get you can get a silver or a gold one at level five and you can't see the purple one on here but yeah so I mean you you could easily use the silver or the gold spoon at level five and whenever you unlock the purple one use that then but uh that's the only thing I'm cheating on right now I suppose <laughs> Famer Joe's a new sub. Well, thank you. Appreciate it. ML Coop with the sub. Thank you so much. Jurassic Park was filmed in Hawaii. There we go. Thank you. But it was like set in the movie in co like off Costa Rica, right? Got him again. You're in the middle of the rainy season. Oh man. That's like in uh, Jurassic Park when the, the when the park went down. Sheena Robinson with this up. Thank you, Sheena. When the when the park went down, he stole all the DNA. It must have been during the rainy season. They were trying to get off the island. Captain says we gotta go. We gotta go. Famer Joe with the sub. Thank you so much. Appreciate it, Famer Joe. But I'm too lazy to grind for fish and I've been stuck at level 34 for like months. Oh man. Hey, no one said that a free game was gonna be easy, okay? That's what makes Fishing Planet so good. <laughs> they made it a free game and then they made it really hard <laughs> to level up. Better than an alive spider in the bathroom. Ooh. Ew, dead spider. You've named your giant bathroom spider Gerard. So we had a big spider. It was like a silver dollar size kind of spider. And uh, and he crawled out of our wall one day. It's like, um, I don't know how to explain it, but there's like a little crack in the wall. And he crawled out of there one day. And uh, we were like Aragog. He's our he, he is now Aragog. You shall always be known as Aragog. And we've never seen him again. That was the only time we saw him. I hope he's like super big now because I, I I didn't kill him on that day. I kept him alive because I thought, wow, that's a big spider. And uh, and he wasn't a bad spider. And so uh, I was like, let's just see how big he gets. And then I and then I never saw him again. So maybe he's too big to get out of that crack now or something. I don't know. We have like some like six inch diameter spider in our wall right now that can't go out a two inch crack so three uni track at Ro uh, rocky lake hey right on jeremy that's awesome grinding northerns in st croix that is the that's my jam man maybe we need to do that for a stream sometime on monday we'll have to go back and and grind some northern pike that gets me excited i just get spooked really easy <laughs> yeah. oh, okay but i get scared easily as well huh I'm, I'm with you there. I was dead. What's a good rod setup for Trophy Pike? Oh gosh. You know, I've got multiple videos uh, showing fishing for Pike. Um, so I'll definitely go look those up. Just go to my channel, go to the magnifying glass and type in Pike. I'm sure like six videos will pop up because they were one of my favorite fish to fish for in the game. I remember when I first unlocked St. Croix, I just thought like I went fishing there and I just did not have much luck at all. I was like, this is dumb. I'm not enjoying this. Why did I even come here? It costs so much money. And then once I figured out the pikes, the pike fishing situation with match rods, I was like, dude, this is fun. The pike are fun. So, yep. This dude seems a little bit bigger, maybe. 3.428 pounds making our way up making our way up How much time we got six more minutes to catch more walleye Came out of the bathroom stall at the comic-con saw a dude dressed up in a movie level Pennywise costume about jumped out of your skin <laughs> Well, let's see in the bathroom shower scene. He he turned into like a werewolf didn't he in the original it movies I think so I mean he wasn't sticking to canon David you should have known it was fake <laughs> Van D's here how's it going Jay Andy hi my friend hello there 
Loki time. Patrick White with a sub. Hey, thank you. Squish Flint. Loki time sounds good. You have fun. Don't you worry about it. Nick Andrews with the sub. Thank you. Does anyone here like spiders? What uh, what sort of spiders do they have around where you live, Drag Yacht? <laughs> I'm laying on a little 35 now, dude. Very nice. Oh, oh, got a fish on. And he's not gonna break our line this time. Take that, walleye. Stupid. Take that, stupid. Uh, why you have so? Why you have so good rods? I don't have good rods. Um, <laughs> well, I might. I don't know. <laughs> um, I'm just using level eight, level eight stuff or below right now. Um, stuff that you would be able to uh, use if if you came to Emerald Lake at level eight. So you went fishing at your pond and caught a five pound bullhead, dude. Samantha, very nice. Yeah, that's that's not bad. Five pound bullheads, pretty pretty good size. Long time watcher, first time talker. Nice show, is Michael Fultz. Thank you so much. Well, glad you're glad you're talking. First time talker. <laughs> right on. Heck no, nah, I could do without Redux Myth. It says you got me back into this game, Ashford Tyler. Did I? What did I? What did I do specifically that got you back in? That's uh that always just reminds me of the Rick and Morty the Rick and Morty episode where they're just like S -s I, I can't say it Whoa, I uh, lost pressure there. <laughs> I'm in Carly and you're here to catch some fish. Hey, we've been catching fish man We're talking two and three pounders and we've got 30.7 pounds of them man <laughs> that's like 10 pounds or 10 fish <laughs> that's there yeah that yeah that makes sense oh my god reel it up jeez louise let's go um i said i would do a boogie button once we finally caught a trophy walleye and there it is so boogie 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 got ya can't do anything about it you flail as much as you want. You're stuck with me, bro. I love how uh, every time I try, uh, for some reason, anytime I choose a lo-fi song to play, it always ends up playing some lo-fi Christmas song. It's always this song too. It's not a bad Christmas song. It's just not Christmas time. <laughs> I'll probably add it to my, uh, my lo-fi Christmas album that I'm creating. Last year, I put out that Call of the Wild theme lo-fi Christmas playlist. I'll have to do something similar again. <laughs> I really enjoyed that. That was fun. Is it friends only? It is, Jeremy. It is friends only. We got the Watcher and uh, G32 Grinder here. All hanging out. Friends only. Friends only. Seat taken. <laughs> Currently level 40 and trying to make your way to 50. Hey, right on. Hey, does anyone live in Ohio by chance? Let's just throw that out there randomly. RF2 Broccoli. Hey, thank you so much for the sub. Is it friends only? I already read that. Ethan Irwin with the sub. Thank you so much. One level away from 30. Well, right on. Can't look on your lives because I'm European. But you're, I said European. European. Romania, if someone cares. Hey, well, no trouble there, J. Andy. I can't remember what I was watching the other day, but a guy from Romania picked up on the phone. I don't know what. I was watching. Hmm. Anyway, very cool. Home of the the vampires and the werewolves, eh? Does everyone say that when they learn you're from Romania? <laughs> the Hutchinsons, hey, how's it going? Just standing there. Thank goodness you didn't change to a werewolf. That would have been that would have been the key, David. If you had done that, you would have known. <laughs> this is the real deal. <laughs> 
You love spiders, Michael Fold says. What do match rods do compared to float? Um, match rods are basically beefed up float rods. Um, kind of like how feeder rods are like the smaller version of bottom rods. Um, float rods, telefloat rods are like the smaller version of match rods. So at some point you're going to level up from using float rods to match rods, much like you would level up from using feeder rods to bottom rods. Walleye 426 again. All right, on the dot, on the dot, everyone. We'll ride on. I'll, uh, we're gonna leave here. That was pretty fun. We made almost $5,000 in an hour, which wouldn't be too bad at level eight. That, that would be helpful. You could buy a whole new rod basically with that. Be pretty sweet. <clears throat> Greetings from Costa Rica and only speak a little English. Yeah, right on, Nikhil. Nunez, very cool. Severe case of, oh yeah? Is that right, Fish King? That's terrible. Send my regards. We just been talking about it and I just got back into it. Bought out your, your dusty computer. Well, right on. That's what I'm talking about. Nice. You have friends in Ohio. Do Jingle Bells with guns and Hunter Call the Wild. <laughs> Jingle guns. Pew, pew, pew. Uh, all right, now here in, hey, this looks like a pretty decent day for fishing. We'll find out, won't we? Um, so, so my favorite thing to use at Naharan was a purple worm. The problem with that is that you don't unlock a purple worm until level 21, which doesn't work if you unlock Naharan at level 12. And you can use these worms, but unfortunately they cost bait coins, which honestly might not be too bad. If you want to use one bait coin to buy a worm, might not be a bad idea. You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to buy... <sighs> See, I love using purple worms, but I, I don't know which color I should get. Let's do brown. Brown? Chocolate. Versus blue, chocolate or blue? What are we thinking? Who who says chocolate? Who says blue? The first to three votes wins. Columbus, Ohio. Mark is right on. Okay, what do I do? And it won't let you out hook bait. I don't know, Angela. I don't know. You certainly can, Samantha Morseman. We got uh, three for blue already. Three for blue before we even got to one chocolate. <laughs> well, right on. We'll buy one. We'll buy a cho blue, I guess. All right. So I'm going to throw a blue worm on here. Zach's in the chat. Hello, Zach. How's uh, how's St. Louis? Tell us all about it. Tell us all about it. All right, let's go catch some bass and the heron. We also have uh, we have one rod which might break upon using it. <laughs> We will find out, I guess. <laughs> Juan Murray with the sub. Thank you so much. <laughs> Barbless hook for a bass in the glades. What's the best bait in Barbless hook? You know, Michael Fultz, I honestly don't know. I never used bait or anything for bass. Um, I caught bass literally like one after another every 30 seconds. So I wouldn't have had time to uh, catch one on a bait anyway. Caught so many bass at the Everglades, it was ridiculous. How far do I need to cast for walleye? Oh god. Can you can you back up a little bit and watch me watch me do it? <laughs> I don't know how far. I just kinda eyeball it. By the wormy. You won't it won't let you out a hook or bait on it. What do you do? I don't, I don't know, Angela. I don't know what. Watch my rod setup video to see what you're doing wrong. I don't, I don't know. Just by just what you've given me, I don't know what you've done. We can go through like a checklist, or you can just watch the video, see what's, see what's everything. You catch bow fins on a walker. Ooh, the watcher. All right, doing a friends room again. Friends room in the Heron, catch some uh, some big old bass. 
I have not announced the winner to the giveaway, Tantan. I'm sorry. I'm super busy at work right now. It's it's been ridiculous. Um, and I haven't had time to uh, take a look, do that whole thing of a jig. Alrighty. In fact, can we do something like this? I think the garlic biting over here is the problem. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw it way over here. That way I can see it from here. I'm gonna do let's do three odd hook. Ooh. It says it's too heavy for the rod, which is kind of worrying in a way. All right. Oh, shoot. I wanted to change the time. My bad. Try to make, I, I try to stay organized, but then I don't. Middle of the lake for walleye, Doc Coop says. Roger Johnson, howdy. Howdy, Roger Johnston. I'm doing quite well. How are you? How do you do, sir? Uh, we're going to go to... Eh. Two o'clock. Sunny outside. It is sunny outside now. Which side? Just cast out in front of us. All right. Come on, big gar. Oh, dang it. It was active on a left... Whatever. KLP Elemental stole my spot. The freak out of the way, bro. I'll be okay. Here we go. Let's catch some bass. I'm gonna do a pop lock and drop it, or a uh, lift and drop. Have you been to South Florida? Diesel Gaming 55. Thank you for the sub. Um, South Florida. I have been to Southern Florida, but I have not been to the Keys, so... Echo Axis with a sub, thank you. Got nibbled by something there. What do you do for work, BZ? I, uh... King's Man Marker. I, I'm a creative producer for a company that creates um internet uh software and apps uh not necessarily software but internet services apps and other helpful knickknacks for uh state wildlife agencies hunting fishing camping that sort of thing which is why i was going to bring it up because if you live in ohio and you go to use the Spring Valley shooting range, y your man here voiced the entire video. So if you if you watch the safety video, yeah, you're gonna have to listen to me list off all the all the rules. <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. Today is your birthday. Well, happy birthday, Seth. How's it going? You're like level 32 and you have two carp rods, two cat boxers, one big alley, 15 and a random spinning rod and match rod. It's a god. Well, right on, Jay Andy. Not getting a very good lift and drop right now. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Oh, it's got nibbled by something there. Hmm. <laughs> Trying to make this blue worm do something good. I 
I'm trying to catch some tanks, man. That's basically like a stop and go. And I had a good lift and drop going for a bit there. I don't know what happened to it. Oh no, you know what I didn't do? I didn't bring a spinner bait. Throw this out too. Tackle's too light for the rod. Nah. We can actually throw a craw on here too. Make it super interesting. Ooh. Or I probably spend more time looking at fishing lures than fishing. <laughs> Understand that. Has Megan been in here recently? Not recently. No, not recently. Am I only going to do the friends only play? I guess. Why does it matter? That's old school, bow. <laughs> I'm trying to remember when that when that came out. When did it when did it come out? Pop lock and drop it. Is that like uh 2005? 2004? Hopefully that seemed like a normal drink to to everyone. It didn't just look like I chugged water. Definitely dedicate all. Thank you, Jester. How do I find the video, BZ? Sounds like a good job. It is pretty fun, man. It isn't public yet, Tan Tan. Um, but it's getting there. <laughs> we uh we made a bunch of web pages for it as well. I designed a lot of the the web pages for the Ohio Spring Valley shooting range as well. So, one and only BZ, I'm talking about range safety. That's awesome. Well, thank you. <laughs> List off all the gun things. That's exactly right. Yeah, what is the deal? Oh, we finally almost had one. Maybe I just need to do a stop and go with this. Let's stop trying to do a lift and drop. It's not working. It's, the lift and drop's not working for some reason. Uh, and the Heron's a pretty fun little place, that's for sure. But uh, the Everglades is kind of your first chance to go for more uh, like saltwater and freshwater fish, brackish water, I guess. Drag out says, do a stop and go. Yeah. Roger Johnson got his hair cut into a mullet. Ooh. What was your first unicorn? I think it was uh, one of the trout at Rocky Lake. <laughs> Don't you worry about it, J. Andy. Get spotted bass using it at Lone Star, right on. Two thousand seven pop lock. Ah, okay. I was close, just a few years. Right. We'll slay bass. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, I got some other stuff too. I thought we could try. I'm not sure though. I'm 
got a red twin tail spider grub as well. I think this is level 13 or something like that. I think it's like one level above. Okay, well, add me in the friends, Jeremy. I don't understand what the problem is. <laughs> Add me as a friend and then you can join in to the friends game. That's usually how that works. <laughs> Silly goober. When will the Florida Vision video be out? Dude, I started editing it the other day. I just get burnt out because I work all day long. And then I come in and, and then either, you know, want to take the day and just kind of be a little lazy since it worked all day or then just have a stream and by the end of the stream then I'm like I don't want to work anymore <laughs> so usually by the time I'm able to start editing it's Thursday through Sunday Nick Chandler thanks for the sub um, and then of course then if I go traveling Saturday and Sunday or the weekend then that cuts out two days of editing so Ugh. Nicholas why with the sub as well thanks man appreciate it two logs and up against the logs that's a good spot as well or the weeds to your right get on the rock that's a bit out there also good yeah i just don't know why like, this used to be my 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 spot to go to man but we're just not catching anything I'm not catching anything at all i'm trying all sorts of lures s and m smoke them thank you for the sub you should tell us some of the safety rules well, i'm trying to think um no no double tapping or uh rapid firing you must have a one to three second count in between shooting i remember that was one um there's like nine big rules so you'd think i would be able to remember at least like four of them or something like that but god dang it these fish they're not hooking up maybe we just need to go down hook size i don't understand what the deal is ah but they're driving me crazy that's the second one we've had nibble but not catch, you know? Catch some giants off that thing if it was a tad bit deeper. Possibly. Elemental just got a good sized uh, flathead. Very nice, man. Is the walleye are way more consistent man i can tell you that is just not not true though i made way more money in the heron way more money in the heron i fished here i remember like in real life i fished at the heron for like three days straight and i had like an entirely new loadout and i was like ready to go to the everglades it was such a good time I think Naharan was the first time I actually like said like I love fishing plant this is such a fun game up to that point I was like you know man it's super grindy yeah I'm really having to watch my finances because if I spend something wrong I'm gonna mess up and uh, and yeah Naharan was like the first time I felt my like I was like yeah this game's really fun I feel like I can finally relax because I'm catching so many fish making so much money and uh just a good time just a good time you play on ps4 oh well you can't play with me anyway jeremy you silly goober there's no cross play between ps4 and pc there's a big fish another crappie probably <laughs> what is up with these crappie is there a second crappie two trophy black crappie in a row did they did they switch out the fish or something do they not go for worms anymore what's the deal it says they go for worms right there come on now silly goobers worms worms and worms
What's up, Alan? It's always a spot with the tree stumps. Ooh, very nice. Come on, fish. Driving me crazy here. The frogs better for bass than jigs you know i I've, I've caught i've caught a lot of bass on jigs man on did i say jigs or frogs i've caught a lot of fish on for on the large mouth on frogs beachy sun thanks for the sub um, I don't know. The jigs are just something I never really used a lot leveling up, so I can't really say. Go to the Morgan Buckleman. Thank you for the sub. Listen, guys, I'm all for people telling me, you know, hints and stuff like that. But <laughs> we were just on the other side of the truck and we weren't catching anything. So I went to this side of the truck. So there's no reason to tell me to go to the other side of the truck because we were just there. What fish do I like the most? I don't know. Hard to say. I'm kind of struggling with the money in game. How many tips? Absolutely. First off, I would definitely recommend watching BZ Hub's beginner series. And then second off, I would uh, I would watch my guide series. Which is uh, basically just Lone Star and Mudwater right now. Showing you how to make money and move from uh, Lone Star to Mudwater and then Mudwater to wherever you want to go. But I haven't done any more after that. Good luck with the stream. Well, thank you. Bro, what the frick is going on? Why are we catching the fish? I don't understand why this is so difficult. We used to catch them out the Yahoo over and over and over again. A fish every minute. And it's not that way right now. And it's driving me crazy. Droppy, don't eat worms. That's what I'm saying. Is that is that what uh is that what they use in hunting simulator too? Is that how they make the antlers random in hunting simulator? Every every elk has a random antler. <laughs> you know, I'll be I'll be interested to see what uh what all they get out. I'm always tentative to uh really put a lot of uh uh, what's the term? Trust. Tentative to put a lot of trust in um, distributors that uh, pay, you know, uh, developers to make the game and then they just share the game, you know, kind of EA style. Versus Fishing Planet and the Hunter Call of the Wild. They make the game, and then they produce the game and and distribute it all themselves. 
So they care about every point of the process versus EA style where they're just a bunch of big wib, big wigs in a company saying, hey, make this game for us right now. And if you don't have it done by November, then we're shipping it out no matter what. And then that's how you make bad games. <laughs> or you make the same game over and over and over again, like Madden and, uh, and Mass Effect, which was put out too early. And, uh, and FIFA and all those games. So lots of fun stuff. Yeah, I need to look and see if they have a... Uh... Oh, and they want you to do that quick. Bro, why aren't you working? What is up with the lift and drop right now? Like, you can't even get two baubles. When I do get two baubles, then I try to replicate what I did to get two baubles, then it's like, it won't do it anymore. I can't catch any fish because I can't even get the retrieve to do what it's supposed to do. All you used to have to do back in the day was you could just click and it would go lift and drop one, lift and drop two, lift and drop three, and then you'd start catching fish out the wazoo. Well, there we finally caught a fish, but good God, did it take forever. I also use the crankbait a lot on this one as well. I use the uh, the red craw crankbait and the glow in the dark three foot or whatever they were. Both of those worked really well. Oh God, messed up my contact. We're good. We're good now. You think it's a decent game? Yeah. I mean, think about it. From FS17 to FS19, they, they added what? Um, cotton. Got cotton now. And now FS19 to FS21 or whatever. Seasons. Seasons now. Just small little upgrades every year to make you come back and buy the same game over again. later Andrew like BC <laughs> uh, we'll probably hit up St. Croix on Monday I think I thought that sounded pretty fun uh, use real speed one and reel it in twitch it at the same time trust you okay boy this fish why don't you make a TikTok account? I, I don't really know what I would do in a TikTok. Like, I don't know what I would make TikTok videos about. I guess my dogs, it's really the only thing I ever, that's really, the majority of my Instagram story is mostly just me petting my dogs or doing something, so. I feel like my, I mean, I we do have a, a BZ Hub TikTok, it's just kind of boring. Come over here, fish. Well, there's a trophy, small mouth. Not too bad. Mine was bigger. All right, we're back over at the rocks where we started. Except now we have a purple worm, which you don't unlock till like level 21. So maybe it's better. Float fishing or using spoons, frogs, and jig heads. Or what? I 
wasn't doing one speed like you asked. There's a fish. Fish on. But EA made the best NASCAR game ever. And I'll tell you what. They most likely made the best football game ever because they like own the market on it. Ugh. Sorry. It's getting to that point where like people can see into my window, but I can't see them and I don't like that. <laughs> it bothers me. All right, let's switch back to the blue worm. Let's try to get that working. Um. Let's see if we can do that with the blue worm. Get it, get it working good. Mods carry the FS9 or FS series, yeah. Well, and that's the thing is that they sometimes make the mod like part of the game, you know? And then they're like, ah, new farming simulator. The wheels actually leave treads in the mud now. And it was like, yeah, that was a mod last in FS17. So, yeah. <laughs> and I can hardly reel this in. It's so slow. David is cool to now we're speaking the truth Well, we caught one on the purple worm Trying to get one on the blue worm now All FIFA and Madden do is update the graphics. To oh, they have to update the rosters too. Don't forget that Tantan That's probably what a uh, farming simulator has to do a lot of huh? They have to update their roster of tractors. <laughs> One's on my right. The rock's on my right. Oh, right versus left. Who's really looking at what? You want me to throw out to these rocks too? Makes this old dude feel good. You're not old. Liar. Hey, we got one. There's a fish. A little large mouth. On the blue worm. See, if it works like that, then you can do it too. Well, now he's pulling us all the way out. Do you think he nails the best fisher man in quote in quotations? <laughs> um, yeah. That's the thing about he you know is that he could just put on a woman costume and be like the best fishing woman as well And then he could like become a dog and be like the best fishing dog like he could just, he just do whatever he wants, you know It's all just costumes to him You knew TikToks like how to catch Uniques Well help beginners. Ooh, okay Yeah They should add a duck lure in this game. Yeah, that would be fun, especially for like a uh, like a unique. Like that's what they should have done for the uh, the musky golem. Should have done a, a duck a duck lure. Can you imagine how fun that would be too? Is like a top water lure for a giant musky golem, and just like whoosh, come up and snatch it. That would have been awesome. There we go. Yep, move to the right. It's working. Easy, how does the man? Oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah, right. Add a few new tractor models, then let all the modders add the rest. That's very true. Very true. You feel like they nuked the bass? Seamaster says, well, I mean, I was saying I was trying the the stop and go the lift and drop, I guess not stop and go 
and uh, and I could not get the, the freaking lift and drop to work and the bass were not going after it because of it like uh, if I if I did get a two a two circles lift and drop you know it was for like half a second and it was gone What'd you, what'd you call squish? Don't want to hurt me. What's the story of he nail? Mm. Well, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to explain this in a way that will be, uh, translatable, but, um, when we first started this game, I should have showed you a picture there that you could have could have understood what I was showing you when we first started this game when we did a, a trophy shot or a, you know, a photo of our fish that we caught here we'll try we'll try Chris Chris Sutton's thing again um, still going down Chris it doesn't have as much slack but it's still going down Um, what was I going to say? Oh, okay. So when we would catch a fish in Fishing Planet, um, we would take a picture of the fish and the human models in the game did not smile at all. It didn't matter if they caught a big fish or a small fish. There was no emotion to the fish that was caught no matter what. So, uh, so we finally did something about that. <laughs> We, uh, we said that he nil the uh, the character was an alien and uh, he had no emotion and that's why he never smiled when he got a fish and that was honestly where it all started that's uh that's where the idea of he nil took off it's where it became a thing um We'll have to see if I have a crankbait. We can use a crankbait for a little bit. Do I have any crankbaits with me? If I do, they might be too big. Do not. Catch an unicorn. Certainly trying. Are you in a heron? Yes, we are. Squoosh. You caught a plot twist in Loki. Oh, man. Now I don't know what to think. I haven't seen any of the episodes, so now I know that there's a plot twist coming, and I, I can't handle it. I can't handle it. intergalactic overlord from another dimension that's exactly what he is yeah you nailed it if i could summarize what he is in like you know one one way that, that would be it you did it right there let's throw on some uh let's just throw these out i don't know what we're gonna catch with them i'm gonna throw on a two ot and we'll just uh toss these out catch fish catch fish Throw minnows on one and we'll throw a uh, medium cub bait on the other again. Tackle's too heavy for the rod. Oh, Buckle up. Come on, man. Stop being such a wimp. It's just medium cub bait. Psh. All right, here we go. No, 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 no. Back to the blue worm. Peanut butter bass. Pokefan X. Hello. Got 
Guys, bye and proud of you're a little late, but you're here. Hey, right on, man. Glad. The Canadian ninja. She's the Canadian train. Is she also a ninja, though? What? At the ninth, you will like the profile picture. Oh, is that right? It's Loki. There's like 40 billion plot twists. Okay, David. Shh. Shh. We have beeping and bells going off at the same time. Utter chaos. Jingle bells and bombs getting ready to explode all at the same time. Come on, Bass. I need to get this. Hurry. Just work with me for a second, okay? Oh my god, this paint, guys. There are literally two rods going right now. This dude's going out to 40 feet. Oh my god, you're seriously driving me insane. You're a little tiny bass. Got something on this. Carter Earls, did you miss anything? Oh, it's a bunch of fish, I suppose. I remember peanut butter falcon, but I do not remember peanut butter bass. Hey, right on, scored some points. That's awesome. We got a big fish. Big fish for this rod, anyway, evidently. It's struggling. It is struggling. Coming to you, fish. Cutting out. Cutting out the distance. Unicorn. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh, now we don't. Twenty G Golden Shiner. <laughs> What's the biggest fish I've caught in real life? Um, to tell you the truth, I don't really know. Because for the longest time we never measured or weighed any fish. So I'm not really sure what, what the biggest fish I've ever caught is, but um I think this is our heavy rod actually, so maybe we'd be able to reel this one in faster. Let's see. It is. No, no, no. Why do you keep doing this to us? But why? Why do you do this to us? Just watch. This is going to be like a, a 15 pound flathead or something dumb. We had it at 80. Now it's at 190. But I caught a um, anywhere between a 32 and a 34 pound red drum while I was in Florida. So that's that's pretty good. I don't know. I haven't weighed any fish other than that. I've weighed some carp, but biggest one of that was 15. So getting up there. We were going to go for a Goliath grouper. That way, when people asked me in the stream what the biggest fish I'd caught, I, I would just be like, Oh, you know, like 325 pounds or 350 pounds or something like that, but the waves were too crazy. We couldn't go fishing for them. So who won the shirts? I would love to know. I haven't looked at it yet.
Could be a big uni gar. Suppose it could. BT, what's up, my guy? Xander Harris is just just fishing, man. Doing some fishing, trying to catch the big fish, evidently. Here's the thing, I think that uh, Gar like to hit the top of the water a lot, so I think this is probably a flathead. Just off the top of my head, thinking. Top of my flat head, I'm thinking that this is probably a catfish. It's see, the thing is, it's probably really not. This is just a seven seven pound rod, so it's just whatever it is is larger than seven pounds. That's for sure. It's a common shiner, most likely. American shad, a very large American shad. Yeah. My hand is like getting sweaty holding on to this. This reminds me of fishing for that uh, bull trout in uh, Neat Creek. We can fought that thing for like 23 minutes or 24 minutes or something. Real time. And then it, it got off. Ah, oh, we should have looked and saw what it was. It looked like it got up on the surface there. Dude, he's he's not he's not moving at all. He's just in the 170s. We're gonna have to go to him or something. I'm not really sure. Just the flimsiest rod. Yeah, it would have been a really cool, David. That's the thing, it's like the waves were so crazy that we can I have there's a little part where Zachary and I are swimming in the in the ocean and everything, but the waves were so crazy that the the boat that we were going to ride in was was too small. The waves were too big for the boat, so that's the thing, we couldn't go out. Nope, can't raise the drag up at all. Saltwater addition to this game. No, they don't. They just need to add salt water to the game. <laughs> it's called Fishing Planet. They don't have a game called Fishing Planet and then say, but no oceans. Ultimate hunting, except for Africa. We, it is, it's, it's like the ultimate hunting game, but we don't want to do Africa. Otherwise, it's ultimate. I don't think we're going to catch this fish, to be honest. It's, it's just, there's just no drag. It's too strong. It's not tiring out at all and my hands are getting sweaty and I can't even hold on to my mouse anymore. Ugh. Yank and crank. Ugh. It's not working. See, that's the thing is that we did do that at first, but it didn't go anywhere. Just get off. I don't even want to fight you anymore, dude. Arturo Juarez, thank you so, so much for the subscribe. Is he giving up now? I don't want to jinx myself. No, he just decided to swim 50 feet closer to us. Never. Yeah, it's because I had to use a, a light leader on this thing. I think the leader is like 4.9 pounds or something light, super light. Any tips for level 13? Probably go fish at Emerald if you can, because Naharan's gonna cost even more money and you don't have any money. Or go back to uh, 
Go back to Lone Star and fish for a spotted bass there. Yeah, forget this fish. I don't even want to fight anymore. It's just wasting time. Just wasting time. I don't want to fight you anymore. Go away. Jeez Louise. Waste of time. This rod is great for walleye, not great for whatever the frick that was. Because it's going to be 930 and we're still not going to catch that fish. And it's going to be uh, who knows when we'd actually get it in there. That was like the third time he would pulled us out to 200 feet for no reason. Other than that, we were using a super light rod and trying to catch a fish that we had no business trying to catch. Kaiser Harvey's only level eight. Well, you're perfect for going to Emerald Lake then. You should, when this video is over, you should go to the very beginning and watch that whole beginning part because it is specifically for people that are level eight. Jeez Louise. Now this is like the next, the next level up of rods. Another feeder rod, but it's just, it's a level 12 rod instead of a level eight. Paolo Pazzaretti, Pazzaretti. Well, thank you so much. Pazzaretti, Pazzaretti? Say that right? Guys are Harvey with the sub. Thank you. Um, narrow spoons do great. Number one, barbless narrow spoon, best for walleye. Yeah, I think that would be good. You can add a little extra XP there with the barbless. Rattlesnake worm in the 1776 DLC. Yeah, we, uh, we were just, we were, uh, we were fishing at a Emerald Lake with just the narrow spoon and, and a couple of, uh, feeder rods and we caught, uh, $5,000 worth of walleye in an hour. So not, not too shabby. What should you get with $40 premium you should buy premium. Yeah, play with us at a, a little flat catfish. Well, how about that? Little flathead catfish. Hello, catfish. How much? We finally caught one. Monday. Red Dead Redemption 2. I haven't played Red Dead Redemption 2. Not yet anyway. I don't I just don't have enough time. And if I do have time, I get asked to make videos with pretty much every video I put out. Anytime I put out a video, someone comments down below, hey, can you post a video of X game? And it's like, I guess. I just put a video out though, and I still have other games I wanna play. 
so it's a weird weird life of a uh, content creator I guess it's like I I play games that I think are fun that no one would enjoy watching but uh, at the same time I feel guilty that it's not you know <laughs> a game that someone else wants to watch I guess value spin six foot three what bait do you put on it probably a casting spoon I guess throw throw a casting spoon it depends what you're fishing for Angela Wilder you know you gotta change your bait and or your lures based off of what fish you're fishing for Man, it's your stream. Usually you're outside working. Well, Paolo, glad, glad you're here. Glad you made it. Oh, golly. Let's see. Ten bait coins. That's crazy, man. That's just crazy. Let's try a craw. We have a one inch craw, but let's buy. Let's buy a two and a half inch craw. Let's be crazy. Bro, this is gonna be so crazy. What is the uh, fishing time? Yeah, we're good. casting spoon Angela Wilder there is no hook there is no bait it is just a casting spoon put on a casting spoon <laughs> Tyler stating first time been in the stream we'll ride on we've got dogs barking we've got people asking the qu same questions over and over again we got people saying things and getting timed out this is like the full package you are getting the full bz hub stream right now <laughs> oh we snagged we're snagged freaking frack come on fish I'm trying something new you have to go for it in these plague times i know you're mean gosh gosh squish Hey, there is a fish. Whoa, it like jumps towards us. How do you level from 26 to 30? 26 to 30. Now, this is a wild fish. You were wild and spunky, bro. Uh, 26 to 30, that's what? I'm trying to think. Little bit of Everglades, little bit of what? White Moose Lake, maybe? I'm trying to recall what things you unlock. You are always mean. That's not true. <laughs> My body is like, ah oh, yes, bedtime. I understand. Depends on depends on the type, I suppose. For me anyway. Thought I heard beeping for a second. I did hear beeping. What mouse do you have? Because I can't hear you clicking and mine is really loud. Mine's fairly loud too. I have a um, Logitech G510 maybe? I don't know what it is. I'm trying to look for a name while reeling this in. G502. Where do you find the casting spoon? You find it in the store, Angela.
You're usually the teddy bear. Oh. You're going pike fishing in Walla on Saturday. Hey, right on. Well, that's probably a good thing, Kai. I, I didn't drink until I was, well, probably 21, honestly. I didn't want to lose any, uh, didn't want to lose any scholarships when I was in high school. And I didn't want to uh, get dropped out of Naval ROTC when I got into college. So, uh, didn't do any of that stuff. You know? Easy way to lose scholarships and lose, uh, lose stuff to do in college, you know? Pokey fan with a sub. Hey, she's she's learning. You're also an NJRTZ. Well, right on. 20 30 cast, no luck. Well, what the heck? Aiden Loftus with the sub. Thank you. Another flathead catfish, it looks like. I'm a PO3. See, I don't know what the PO3 stands for. What is what does that mean? Trying to, I'm trying to look. The dogs are going crazy right now. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> Petty officer third class. Ooh, okay. Right on. Why did I throw this out here? Don't know. Thought it was a worm. him on the boat with a new phone because he lost his as his construction job well what a that's a great gift there paolo the prince is calling yeah they're both calling they're both running around barking at each other bor borking at each other effective ways to catch walleye in the end in this and good places for it rowan williams let me tell you man if you go to the beginning of this video, you are going to be so excited. Because it applies directly to your question. I'll catch you later. Sounds good. We're going to be uh, probably right after this cast. We're going to be ending it here because it's 9.33. There we go. End it with a fish, man. Let's go. Top notch. Nicholas Devage is not early, but you're here. Yeah, you're actually late. You're three, four minutes late. Goodness gracious. Emmett Cole, hello, hello. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll end it with this little largemouth here. Two pounds, seven, seven, nine, <laughs> whatever, 316 bucks. There's actually another fish going on on this rod. Oh God, should we do it? We're already four minutes over schedule. Mods, mods can leave. I don't want to. You have other things to do in your life. I don't want to ask you to go any further. Goodness gracious! Come on, fish. Catching the monsters. Well, thank you, Rowan. It's fun watching me play. <laughs> Dev boss is here. So sorry you're late. Hey, no issue there, man. 
You're gonna go fishing in Emerald? Good idea. The best YouTuber. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're catching this whale. This this absolute monster. This dude's head is so flat. I'm telling you, man. You ever seen how flat this dude's head is? You'll you'll think he's some sort of sideshow attraction. I don't making stuff up. Okay. Come on, dude. You got like four feet. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. I'll go to you. No, you meet me halfway. Meet me halfway. Right on the borderline. It's where I'm gonna wait for you. Oh, 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 oh. come on, dude. Seriously? You were at like 20 feet, now you're at 38. What are you doing? Saw the notification actually feel bro, don't you feel bad? Good bait for catfish under level seven. Mm, can you use small cut bait? Also like a dog, is it pet food, cat food, dog food? I can't remember what it is. I think that also works. Cheese, you can use cheese as well. Bro, why are you going out to 80 feet? You were at 20. Good God. I'm about to cut the line just out of frustration. This is what happens when I, I say I say 7.30 to 9.30 because if I go past 7.30, I become cranky. You're all seeing it. You all see it now. Now you know why I don't like to stay after 9.30. It's because I'm past my bedtime. I'm, I'm ready to go to bed. I'm tired of dealing with fish. For some reason, my hands are super sweaty today. I don't know why. It's like hard to hold on to this mouse because it keeps kind of micro like slipping out of my hands. You know how like when something is just, it's not slipping out of your hands, but you can feel it gradually going away from being like well gripped. <laughs> That's how my mouse feels right now. It's like slowly slipping out of my hands the more I squeeze on the freaking buttons. Chase it down, bro. It's in the middle of the lake. I can't chase it down. I'm sorry for being cranky, but it's past stream time. Gonna hit the sack. Good night. Hey, Damien, take care, man. I would love to be able to say that too. But unfortunately, I have this dumb catfish on my line that will not give up. He has not accepted his inevitable fate being on the end of my line. Unfortunately. Get over here! Scorpion style! Ugh. 30 feet, 29, 32, 30. If he pulls us out to 50 feet again, I'm rage quitting. Just saying. Get in here. Thank golly. Freaking 16 pounds is all he was. Oh, I love going back to earlier lakes. I love going back to them. They're so much fun. All right, top notch, everyone. Well, that's it. This was great. I hope it was fun for everyone. I'm, uh, I'm ready to go to bed. Not really, but I'm ready to stop playing this and having this super bright light flashing on my face. So anyway, take care. Uh, like the video if you liked it. If not, just leave, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, that's it. Thank you for being here. Big uh, thank you to David and Squish for being here during the uh, during the stream. It really helps us out. Or helps me out, not us. So I guess it helps everyone out. So keeps the, the riffraff out. The Canadian train there. Uh, Elemental and Grinder and... Um, who was it? Watcher joined in with the, the, the stream fishing. That was awesome. Um, yeah, buena note. Yeah, buena note to you as well. Yeah. Go, uh, Gokveld. Gokveld? Yeah, Gokveld. Gokveld? Yes. Good. All right. Good night, everyone. Take care, and as always, remember. <laughs>